As many of us head out to the four corners of Washington this weekend, we have been challenged with large fires. This is a place where you can get a visual on our statewide fire situation. So we have a cluster of fires there near Cheney being managed by a type three team. There is good news. This fire not far from Spokane and Cheney proved manageable. After some 3,000 lightning strikes zapped much of the eastern half of the state just a few days ago. The most challenging fires we have really left out there right now are, are centered there north of Yakima and in the Ellensburg country. Russ Lane is the new fire operations and aviation manager for the State Department of Natural Resources, the state's largest fire department. But while the marks on the west side of the state are smaller, they give him plenty to worry about. Consider this fire south of Olympia Thursday afternoon caught on a DOT traffic cam looking at I-5. Keeping really forces pre-positioned, uh, you know, and uh, for initial attack across the state, um, you know, as evidenced by the fire we had along I-5 south of Olympia, we've still got really good uh, potential out there for human caused fires. And despite an unusually wet and cloudy July, ours is still a state in drought. You can see that kind of corresponds in that arc that we've had across central and eastern Washington where we have been challenged with large fires when we get the mass lightning ignitions. The deeper colors, of course, are more severe drought areas, you know, the northwest part of the state and, and really all of western Washington. And despite the unusual rain and clouds we've had over much of July on our side, DNR is expecting we will be back to fire season as normal by the end of this weekend, if not elevated. And none of that rain that's supposed to touch this side of the state this tomorrow morning, that's not expected to do really anything. Wow. So you spent much of this week looking at the fire danger here on our side of the right. state. Uh, where can we get more information? So we can get you more information. It's pretty easy. Simply text the word wildfire to 206 448 4545. It's right down there. And uh, in case you lost it, and uh, we've got a lot of information. You can watch the stories again, what we did. And uh, even in eastern Washington, they got two red flag warnings wow. up there. You saw some of that in right. pink due to more high winds coming in. And the deal with wind and wildfire is that what makes wildfire spread and can spread like crazy. Thanks. There you go. Great info. And more proof of the high fire danger right now. Crews responded to a three alarm brush fire on Whidbey Island this afternoon. They got 911 calls reporting smoke. They arrived to find this property on fire. The flames had already jumped the road. Someone was working on an antique car, doing some grinding with some power tools and the grinding created a spark underneath the car. Fire started. Firefighters say homeowners jumped in to help with garden hoses. Fortunately, crews were able to put out that fire before it spread to any homes.